What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got another desk setup tour showing you guys a very minimal and modern white desk setup by Sebastian. He's the one who runs and curates iSetups which you guys have probably seen before. So if you guys wanna look at setup inspiration, that is your place to check out. But I also did a tour of his previous setup a couple years ago which you guys seem to really enjoy. So this is his new setup. The approach that it's gone with is just a very light and airy room. There's a lot of natural light that comes in and he's kind of optimized it for for a standing desk setup for a work from home situation. So behind me, we have some tech products that we're gonna be talking about in this video, including the lighting aspect, the smart home, also showing you guys his living room and general interior design, which as I mentioned, follows a very minimal style. If you guys would like to win an item from this video, just go ahead and drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment down below with your favorite product. I'll be picking a winner in one month, so make sure you leave your Instagram username as well because I'll be contacting you directly on there. So for starters, the setup itself really does bring back a lot of memories of some of my first desk setups on YouTube. You guys remember that I used to have all white everything, including the desk, and there were relatively few pieces of like wood elements or color, but instead it really just focused on something that was very little distraction, and I feel like this setup definitely does embody that. For starters, when it comes to peripherals, he has the Newfie keyboard, which is actually the first time that I've seen this keyboard, and I feel like it is one that is extremely stylish, but most importantly, it is also really nice to type on. For anyone who's looking for a nice mechanical setup, but at the same time, it's minimal and it takes up relatively little space, this is an option to check out, and the productivity king for mouse is the Logitech MX Master line. This is an older generation, but I feel like if you don't need any of the new small improvements, the past few generations have been really solid, so that's a good way to save money. And this is all sitting on top of a random Frank P desk mat, which adds a nice level of contrast to the white desk. When it comes to the desk itself, this one is from Autonomous. And I feel like they make a really nice modern desk that is relatively affordable compared to the, a lot of the other options out there, and they still come in many different finishes. In my opinion, if you're going for a simple white desk setup, whether it's from like Ikea or any other company out there, you don't really have to spend a ton of money because the quality is relatively consistent throughout when it comes to like the white finish. This is one that is really scratch resistant, but looks great. And you're able to set it in the sit stand position, of course, while also having a few different memory options. And it shows you specifically the height that you have it set at, whether it is in that sit and stand. And once you've locked in position that you like, you can just set it into any one of the numbers. And when you go ahead and press it, it will then go to the preset height that you've predetermined. In this case, the setup itself is actually optimized for his height specifically with this laptop stand right here. He has his MacBook Pro on it and he has it connected to a CalDigit hub, which is probably the best Thunderbolt hub that you can go ahead and purchase because it is reliable, but it has all the IO that you need when it comes to USB type C, USB type A, and also SD card slot. And it just sits right here and he has a singular Thunderbolt cord going to the computer that supplies the IO as well as enough power to keep it running throughout the day. When you wanna go ahead and disconnect it and take it to work, just unplug it, take it with you. But having it set at eye level on the standing position just makes it very nice to have sort of a dual display setup while still having one main monitor right here. And in this case, Sebastian has a 34 inch LG monitor that is slightly curved from a few years ago, as well as a BenQ screen light that you're able to set the different brightness settings, the white balance, and it also has a sensor built in. So if you're working at night, being able to see your keyboard or your desk area without having any glare on the screen is nice. The monitor stand is one from Grovemade and it is in a walnut finish that matches the flooring and the different finishes of his condo. And it's one that allows you to put all these different accessories such as an iPad, maybe your headphones underneath it, but it also puts the monitor at a very comfortable height. So the way that it has been integrated in with this setup while also being able to house the speakers on the side is just a very good way to add different layers to your desk setup and it is also available in an oak finish. As for the speakers itself, it is one from Audio Engine. These are the A2 Plus speakers, which are probably my favorite overall desktop speakers on the market for a price point of under $300. 
I've tried out speakers that are $1,000 or even over that in the past, and I just find the diminishing return point for a great set of speakers kind of stops at the Audio Engine A2 Plus. You can connect them via USB through the CalDigit dock to give you great audio quality instead of using the 3.5 millimeter jack, which I feel like is like the very minimal standard. But if you have it through like RCA or through USB, you can ensure you're getting great sound quality. And he also has a HomePod on this desk setup to connect to the rest of the home system, but also control the smart home setup, which also ties in to his Nano Leaf and also the Philips Hue. So with any modern home or setup, one of the most important things, especially with such a minimal place, is to be able to keep it clean. And I want to give a huge thanks to Dyson and their V15 Detect Vacuum for sponsoring this video because it's one that I have in my house and Sebastian has also been using since he moved in. This is Dyson's current flagship in their lineup and it has a lot of cool features as well as great battery life and also performance. First off, it is completely cordless and has a one hour battery life. So whether you're cleaning your home or your condo, the cordless aspect of it is huge because you're able to use the different attachments to clean all the different areas of your house. And I also use this to clean my car as well. And there's also an LCD display on the back that displays information as you're using it based on the particle size. And you can also select the different functions between the eco mode, the auto mode, or also a high power mode if you need more suction power. One of the coolest features though, hence its name, is the Detect Laser. It is one of the attachments that is included and has a specifically angled laser that is able to display dust on the floor in certain areas where you may not have seen it. So for example, as you're going along the trim of your house, you might have like hidden areas of dust. And so if you wanna make sure you've got every little piece of it, then this Detect Laser works very well. Dyson also makes a slim model of this vacuum, which we've also checked out on the channel. So if you have like a smaller condo, for example, the battery life is still really good and it's more compact in size and also lighter to use. So if you guys want to go in and check out the Dyson lineup of vacuums, including the V15 Detect, I'm going to drop a link down below and a huge thanks to them once again for sponsoring the channel. The Philips Hue strips are located behind the desk and it allows them to set a whole realm of different colors and different moods depending on the time of day, whether it is just a warm light or maybe setting it to like a purple or a blue and also having the nano leaves display a different color as well. And he also has a couple light bars on the corner here that just adds multiple layers of lighting throughout different areas of the setup, which I feel like is relatively creative instead of just having a singular lamp. And by mixing all of these lighting setups and connecting it to Apple HomeKit or your preferred home setup, just allows you to really set that mood depending on the time of day to really align with your daily routine. Lastly, the side storage unit that he has is also from Autonomous and it adds just the right touch of color while mixing in with the rest of the desk setup. And he also has an HP Tango X printer that is on top that I feel like actually looks pretty stylish for a printer, but it's really portable and just gets the job done if you need some basic printer. It isn't really one that you'd wanna print a very high volume on. It isn't the fastest or the fanciest out there, but if you just need like a wireless printer that is stylish, you can plug in and use to print the occasional document, then it's really able to get out of the way without being an eyesore in the entire setup. When it comes to the chair, the one that he has is the Herman Miller Aeron. And it's actually the same one that I use in all my office spaces because it breathes really nicely, is extremely customizable, and also very comfortable. It doesn't look as crazy as the Herman Miller and Body, which is also a great chair, but I feel like it is the best all round option for a day to day and especially for a work from home setup. So as you can see here in this entire desk setup, it is relatively minimal and essentially it has all the elements that you need to be able to stay engaged with your work, but also be able to use it in a sit stand function, depending on just the time of day. It has all been very well optimized and the usage of lighting that bounces off the white wall really adds that color, but at the same time you can turn it all off and just keep it nice and minimal. So now that we've taken a look at the desk setup itself, let's go ahead and check out the living room area where he watches TVs, maybe plays the occasional game, and also some of the decor pieces that he has to go along with this whole minimal theme. So similar to the home office, Sebastian's living room setup and entertainment center is also extremely clean and really follows that Apple theme. He has HomePod speakers around as well as Apple TV and all of that is nicely integrated and I feel like ecosystem is where you get the most optimized setup depending on the one that you choose. In my case, I personally use Sonos, but in his case, he has the Apple setup and it actually sounds really good. The customizable lights behind the TV are once again able to bounce off that white wall and give it a very nice gradient. 
I feel like this trend was more prominent years ago, but it's really nice to be able to see it once again because I feel like a lot of the setups that I've done recently have trended towards a darker tone or have many areas of contrast. Books and decor paired up with technology is always a nice compliment, and as someone who also has a shared interest for shoes and fashion, he has quite a collection of that here as well. The wood tones in the table give a bit of a mid-century vibe to it, especially with the weaved area below, so I think it's important that with minimalism, there's something that balances out in the middle. One last tech product here is the brand new Ecobee thermostat. This is one that I'm looking to switch to in my new place as well from the Google Nest because it is super intuitive, very well put together, and easy to control, and he also has temperature sensors in each room, which for any central heat pump is really important. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.